In this video, we will go over changes to the main WP dashboard in the 4.4.3 release. We've added a color selection to tags. Now when creating or editing a tag, you can pick a color to visually represent it. It makes it easier to visually parse tags in the table, and it also gives the table a modern look. Speaking of tags, we've also added the ability to quickly create tags from a site selection in any sidebar on the dashboard. One of many use cases that may come in handy is quickly creating a tag for sites that have a specific plugin installed. Like in this example, we search for sites that have classic editor plugin installed, select those sites and create a tag for them. For REST API, we've added two new calls related to non-main WP changes. One call returns a list of all changes, and the other returns the total count of changes. We've also made small tweaks to the dashboard's UI. When creating the API keys, the consumer key and secret will be visible in plain text until you save the keys. Also, for easier identification of keys, we've added the column in the table that shows the last several characters of the consumer key. That same set of characters will also now be available in the edit screen of a key. The final addition to the main WP dashboard is the timestamp of when a child site is added to the dashboard. This information can be viewed and edited on the site edit page. The field will be empty for sites added before version 4.4.3, so you are free to add that information manually if you wish. To include this data in the Manage Sites table, simply toggle it on from the page settings. We hope you enjoy these changes, and thank you for watching.